I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Joining me now is Colorado State Representative Mike Lynch. Representative, thank you so much for joining me. Hey, I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Currently, you are running for Colorado's 4th Congressional District, but let's take a step back. Let's start at the beginning. What propelled you to jump into politics? Yeah, you know, it, it all started when um, I was just frustrated with the fact that I was being led by uh, or represented by people that at the end of the day, I, I, I could do a better job than them. And I just wasn't getting the representation that that I that I felt was necessary to represent who I was and what was going on in the in the government. And then now you are running for Colorado's fourth congressional district. That's a very crowded race. Why did you decide to throw your hat in the ring here? The, the same reason I got in in the first place. Uh, you know, I had learned uh, how to do the job through being a, a representative here in the state of Colorado. Um, had it figured out how to work in a minority, uh, how to get things done in these crazy political times when it seems like there's a lot of people that are in this for the glory or in it for some other reason. And I come from a military background where uh, I know what it is to serve. And and once again, I wanted to, to take that uh, fight. I, and I hate the word fight. I, I want to take those skills that I've acquired uh, and, and take them on to D.C. In what aspects specifically do you feel like you're not properly represented? Where do you think you can do a better job? Yeah, you know, a lot of that comes from these folks that have got into this uh, business because because of politics. I, I got in it because I'm a small business owner. I actually am a manufacturer. I have a, I have a foundry and I make things, which is kind of rare amongst people in politics that I've discovered. Um, and and I, I'm the one that's been signing both sides of a paycheck for over 20 years. And I want to you know, I don't see enough of that business experience. You know, I've only been in this game, uh, I'm only in my second term. Uh, so it's not like I, I, you know, grew up and said, hey, I'm gonna jump into this business. But, uh, and what I discovered is, you know, if you have the right approach, if you're not just constantly toxic and, and so ideologically in your corner, you really can get things done. And in Colorado, we've got a two thirds um, minority or two-thirds majority and and I've still been able to get things done and and get good bills that impact folks that are outside of the salacious aspects of ideology and and really representing people that are that are suffering right now with this economic condition that has been put upon us with the Biden administration and and so I take that that actually from the street knowledge nowhere near a career politician but but I've came down here, applied those business principles to uh, getting things done in the state capitol here in Colorado. And, and I feel like I would be the best person to take those skills on to D.C. 